Is the U.S. and China headed towards war? The relationship between the United States and China is characterized by economic interdependence and geopolitical competition. So what caused the tension between the two countries? Direct military confrontations between the U.S. and China have not occurred historically. However, their rivalry indirectly influenced conflicts such as the Korean War and the Vietnam War, with China supporting North Korea and North Vietnam, respectively. China's grievances include perceived U.S. interference in its internal affairs, support for Taiwan, human rights concerns, and accusations of unfair trade practices. The U.S., on the other hand, criticizes China's lack of transparency, human rights violations, intellectual property theft, alleged unfair trade practices, and of setting in motion a global pandemic with COVID-19. Both sides have recently been increasing their military might. In terms of military resources, the U.S. possesses a significant advantage. China, on the other hand, has been rapidly expanding its military capabilities. China has invested heavily in defense technologies, including advanced fighter jets, aircraft carriers, anti-ship missiles, and anti-access area denial systems. Additionally, China possesses the world's largest standing army, which provides a substantial ground force advantage. China's geographic proximity to potential conflict zones, such as the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait, also provide certain advantages in terms of logistical support, regional influence, and the ability to concentrate its forces. As of 2023, the U.S. has approximately 1.3 million active duty personnel in its army. China, on the other hand, has an estimated 2 million active duty personnel. Naval assets, the U.S. possesses a significant advantage in naval power, with 11 aircraft carriers, 82 destroyers, 66 submarines, and a fleet of other support vessels. As of now, China has two aircraft carriers in service, with more under construction. China also has around 50 destroyers, 75 submarines, and various support vessels. Air power, the U.S. Air Force boasts a considerable advantage with a fleet of advanced fighter jets, bombers, and transport aircraft. It has approximately 13,200 total aircraft, including over 2,000 fighter aircraft. China has been investing in its air force and has made significant strides in developing advanced aircraft, including stealth fighters. China has approximately 3,000 total aircraft, including over 1,200 fighter aircraft. Other assets, the U.S. has around 6,000 tanks, including the M1 Abrams. China has an estimated 9,000 tanks, including Type 99 and Type 96. The U.S. possesses a wide array of missiles, including intercontinental ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. China has been actively developing and expanding its missile capabilities, including ballistic and cruise missiles. The U.S. consistently has the world's largest defense budget at approximately $813.3 billion. China has been increasing its defense spending significantly, allocating around $224 billion to its military in 2023. A war between the U.S. and China would have catastrophic consequences for both nations and the world, making conflict prevention imperative. Is preventing a war even possible at the rate we are going? The international community, global alliances, and the involvement of other nations would significantly impact the outcome of such a conflict and prevent war. What would NATO do if the U.S. and China go to war? While the U.S. is likely to receive support from its traditional allies, China's alliances may be more limited. NATO, primarily focused on European defense, may provide political support to the U.S., but is unlikely to engage in direct military involvement unless there is a clear link to the defense of NATO member states. A U.S. and China conflict could also lead to broader global alignment, with countries sharing concerns about China's assertiveness or U.S. strategic interests finding common ground with the U.S. What would the rest of the world do? It's unlikely any powerful nation would not feel compelled to choose sides at some point. So the question then becomes, which countries would likely side with the U.S. and which would ultimately side with China? Potential allies of the United States. The United States has strong alliances through NATO, including countries such as Canada, the United Kingdom, Germany, France, and others. 
Japan and South Korea, Australia, and New Zealand all have a history of close military ties with the U.S. Some Southeast Asian nations, such as the Philippines, Vietnam, and Singapore, have expressed concerns about China's territorial claims in the South China Sea. Potential allies of China, Russia and China have strengthened their strategic partnership in recent years and historically, North Korea has maintained close ties with China. China and Pakistan have a strong strategic partnership, including military cooperation and shared interests in countering Indian influence, but some countries have deep interests in both countries. While some Southeast Asian countries may align with the U.S., others within ASEAN, such as Cambodia and Laos, have historically shown a closer relationship with China. China has also been quietly fostering deep ties with many African nations and invests heavily in its development as it builds strategic infrastructure for its logistic interests and procures its rare earth minerals and metals. The formation of alliances is influenced by multiple factors, including national interests, historical ties, and strategic considerations. The trade war between the U.S. and China is escalating. The escalation of trade wars between the United States and China has been a significant development in their economic relationship. Trade tensions between the two countries began to intensify in recent years, with both sides imposing tariffs and engaging in retaliatory measures. Here are some key points to consider. The U.S. has long expressed concerns about its trade deficit with China, claiming unfair trade practices and intellectual property theft. In 2017, the U.S. initiated a Section 301 investigation into China's intellectual property practices, which eventually led to the imposition of tariffs on billions of dollars worth of Chinese goods. In response, China implemented its own tariffs on various American products, targeting sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing, and technology. This tit-for-tat escalation led to a significant increase in tariffs on both sides, impacting businesses, consumers, and global supply chains. In an effort to address the trade disputes, the U.S. and China engaged in negotiations. In January 2020, the two countries signed a Phase 1 trade deal, which included commitments from China to increase purchases of American goods and address some intellectual property concerns. However, tensions remained unresolved on other significant issues. The COVID-19 pandemic further strained U.S.-China trade relations. With both sides posturing and cutting ties, could the current trade war be a precursor to war? The escalation of trade wars between the U.S. and China has had far-reaching consequences for global trade and economic stability. With both countries flexing their military prowess and the ever-present threat of global impact of two countries armed with nuclear warheads, it should come as no surprise to question whether war might be on the horizon. War brings immense suffering and loss, primarily affecting the innocent people caught in the conflict and rarely the leaders who chose to send their people to fight. It is our collective responsibility to seek peaceful resolutions, build trust, and promote shared interests to prevent the outbreak of war and to strive for a future characterized by cooperation, understanding, and prosperity in which valuing the well-being and lives of all people, regardless of their nationality, is a noble perspective. Let us hope for a world where countries can coexist peacefully and work towards common goals for the betterment of humanity and thanks for sticking around until the end. If you enjoyed this video or podcast, please like and subscribe or consider helping us grow and be ad free by visiting us at Patreon or buy me a coffee. You can find the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Is the US and China headed towards war? The relationship between the United States and China.